Wow, the stats are looking amazing this week. So don't go away, you're gonna love it. It's great to be back here after a fabulous week doing some really, really great things, I must admit, in the domain industry. A whole lot of developments happening there at Parklogic. We've been doing some really cool, cool stuff behind the scenes. Looking forward to some uplifting revenues there. And don't forget Clubhouse, Max.Club. Take a look at Max.Club. I've now shifted the time. It's going to be 4, um, 4 p.m., uh, sorry, 7 p.m. Eastern time, which is 4 p.m. Pacific time, and it's going to be a great time for Max.Club in the clubhouse. Now, you may be wondering, what's Max.Club? Max.Club is something I've put together for entrepreneurs and life. It's how do you blend entrepreneurship and also the rest of your life together? What's some of those questions? Like, we've looked at some awesome stuff, such as how do you hire the right people? how to make better decisions, or even looking at things such as, um, like, how do you move your business forward? And where, how do you move, the, get, get things happening in your business so you can achieve those goals? And those all important things, what is the vision of your business? Where's it going? And that's what we're gonna be looking at this week is, what is your vision? Like, how can you move your business further forward, or not just your business, how do you move your life further forward? How is it that you, all those those other people, like those loved ones, your wife, your kids, friends, fam, wider family and everything like that, how can they move for, forward with you? All really exciting stuff. That's in the clubhouse. Now, don't forget that time once again. It's 4 p.m. Eastern, sorry, 4 p.m. Pacific time, <laughs> which is 7 p.m. Eastern time, in the United States on this Sunday night. So don't forget, this Sunday night, that's the time. So looking forward to it. So without further ado, let's go and take a look at this week's stats. This week's stats are gonna be awesome. Okay then, I can't believe it's the 25th of March already, and um, which is absolutely phenomenal. So let's take a look what's going on um, in this, this coming week. All right then. So what we got there is the normalized RPM. Like there is some really big chunks of volatility in this sample set of domains we're using um, uh, for um, uh, for all these statistics. And a part of it was, I must admit, uh, we got buffeted by a bit of a DDoS type of an attack. So there could be some weird things happening here uh, in this past week, but it's all interesting. Um, so we got the earnings per click and the click through rate. Well, the earnings per click, like seriously, earnings per click is is, is um, the red was trending up. Earnings per click, um, it, it was suddenly sorry the CTR suddenly trended down. The, <laughs> my, the earnings per click, sorry, was going up, and it's a bit of that dance is happening once again. It, it happens all the time, and uh, it's rare that you get a breakout. So I, I wasn't too surprised by this. One going up, the other one going down. All right, volatility there. If we look at the horizontal line at 100%. So uh, if you look at the volatility, yeah, it was mainly below that, which means it was down. It, we sprung back up, but that down was not, not too good for domain investors. Yeah. Then we have the growth from the base. Once again, lots of volatility here. Look at that big drop and then more volatility, and then it sprung back again uh, with a bit of a vengeance. That could be an, a, a, a reflection on the previous or sort of down part, that big spring up, but we'll see in the coming weeks what's actually going on with the normalized RPM. But if you draw a line across here, it's, it's largely been flat this last little while, so it hasn't been trending upwards, so it's been flat. Um, but anyway, let's take a look what's going on between Google which is in blue and red, which is um, the direct advertising networks. Direct advertising networks are really making a big comeback in that revenue split. They just, every single week, they're just getting more and more of the revenue. So Google, if you're sort of thinking, hey, who stole my lunch? It's these guys. Yeah, so it's the, these guys are taking, the direct advertising networks are taking more and more and more of Google's pie. 
And if you take a look here, they suddenly did a big leap forward in terms of not just the amount of revenue they're gaining, but they're also getting more of the traffic and that's gaining all the time. So all the time. So if Google wants to fight back, that's good with me because the more that there's competition, the better it is for the domain industry and domain investors. And if we take a look at this, this is the graph I love to look at, which is the normalized RPM for Google, which if you think about it, it once again, it's been largely flat. Uh, it draws the line straight through the last six months. Well, the direct advertisers, no, nah, nah, they're, they're, they're trending up. They've got that big down right here, which has happened last week. Not sure the reasons why. It could be that bit of a DDoS attack happening or the impact of that, but we'll see. So, hang on, let me just, whoa. Okay, so let's, um, I think I've just jumped forward a little bit too far there. So let's take a look at the next one. Now, this is them on the same scale. And uh, so they're both using the right-hand scale and Google's way down here and Direct Advertising Network's up there. Now, I keep on saying this every single time. If you're not, don't have your traffic exposed to Direct Advertising Networks, you're losing big time. And this proves it. They're paying like in the order of like uh, a few hundred percent more for the traffic than Google is in many respects. The thing that Google has is they got the breadth of advertisers, but they're taking all the margin from the depth. All right then, so last week we saw it was relatively flat, but look at this, the direct advertising networks really fell. They had that sharp down there and then came back again, but they re it really impacted it. And uh, that's going to be with us probably next week as well, as that 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 dip really begins to flow through, um, and you can see it more clearly just here the volatility and the red line right at the end it really fell away, um, and it's popped back up a bit, but really it's not in a strong sort of sense. Okay, so what's going on here with the normalized RPM from growth from base? Once again, we see the dip with the direct advertising networks. And Google overall is flat, although it's quite volatile um, between those bands just there. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether we manage to get some upward swing in the coming weeks um, before, uh, before June in particular. Okay, so don't forget Park Logic. Give me a call. Reach out to me. Carry a pigeon. I don't care what it is. Reach out. That would be that would just be awesome. Um, and don't forget uh, my blog. If you're looking at this on YouTube, we're getting more and more YouTube followers, which is great. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe. It's really important that they don't miss out on this. Even if you don't watch them every week, but at least you know they're happening. So the other thing is, um, uh, is masterclass lessons. I mustn't forget this. There's a whole massive video series on uh, monetization. And I'm still, <laughs> keep on saying this, I've been wanting to get some time um, together for um, doing something on sales. So that's what's been happening this past week, which is really exciting if you think about it. Uh, great things. Don't forget max.club. What time is it again? I'll get it right. It's Sunday night and it's 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. At 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific this Sunday night. We're going to be looking at entrepreneurship and life, and we're going to be discussing like the whole aspects of vision, the importance of having a goal and a direction, and the way it provides hope and, and momentum for you in your business. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you then. See you later. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that video and you find them really valuable for your business and helping you make better decisions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or pass the video on to your friends. Anyway, thanks a lot for that. Have a great day. Bye.